Now we'll take a look at some of the tools available in SmartCam for handling holes and creating hole making toolpath. First we'll suppress some of the existing milling toolpath from the view just to clear up our graphics a little bit. In its simplest form I can pick up a tool from the planner, this M6 tapping drill, and I can create a hole element. I could type in a coordinate position or I could snap to the centre of that hole. So that's a single tool, single hole element in SmartCam. I can use something called Group Hole, which allows me to search for occurrences of, in this case, that uh, diameter, pick up the hole model. So that's created that same hole in four positions from the wireframe data. Now clearly I might want to spot drill, drill and tap those same locations. So I'll just delete the toolpath we've created. We'll use group hole again, but this time we'll put it onto a wireframe layer called M6 holes. Accept and pick up the entire model again create the same set of data but this time we've created wireframe elements and now I can pick up a tool from the planner our spot drill accept it select the group of elements that I want to apply a toolpath to and use smart cam hole making for spot drilling we'll specify a diameter of 7 mil spot diameter go reverse the order pick up the tapping drill, specify a depth of 25 millimeters, full diameter, go, and then pick up the tap, take off reverse order, tap to 15 mil deep, and go. So we've spot drilled, drilled and tapped wireframe data. These are just some of the popular ways of making holes in SmartCam. Again, in true SmartCam style, there are a number of other tools available to you. We'll finish here by putting back on the milling toolpath we masked off and using Showcut to show the result of our machining. So that's an overview then of holes and hole making processes for wireframe data in SmartCam.